Imagine having a tool that can help you solve even the most complex problems. This isn't a physical tool you can hold in your hands, but rather a mental one, a mental model. These models are frameworks for thought, lenses through which we view the world and its challenges. They shape our understanding, guide our reasoning, and lead us to solutions. Consider the case of Richard Feynman, a brilliant physicist whose unique mental model earned him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1965. Feynman's mental model, known as differentiating under the integral sign, was his secret weapon for tackling problems that left even math PhD students stumped. This story illustrates the power of mental models. They're not just theoretical constructs, but practical tools that can guide us to break through insights. So how can you start building your own mental models? Abraham Kaplan once said, if the only tool you have is a hammer, you tend to see every problem as a nail. This intriguing statement is known as Kaplan's Law of the Instrument. It points out how our mindset can become a limitation when we approach every situation with the same perspective or tool. Just imagine you're a skilled carpenter with only a hammer in your toolkit. You might be excellent at hammering nails, but what if you need to saw a piece of wood or measure a distance? You're limited, right? The same applies to our mental toolkits. If we only have one way of thinking, one mental model, we will try to fit every problem into that mold. This can lead to misinterpretations, oversimplifications, and even total failure in understanding or solving the issue at hand. So how do we avoid this? The answer lies in diversification. Just as a diverse investment portfolio can weather different economic storms, a diverse mental toolkit can tackle a variety of problems. We need to learn, adapt, and embrace different mental models to enhance our problem-solving abilities. Remember, diversification is key, not just in investments, but in our thinking as well. So how do we build new mental models? Well, the answer might surprise you. Imagine you're in a library. You're surrounded by books on a myriad of topics, science, art, history, philosophy, and more. Now, instead of reaching for a book in your comfort zone, you pick up one that's completely out of the ordinary for you. This is where building new mental models begins. Reading widely and diversely is like opening doors to different worlds of thought. It's about stepping out of the familiar and embracing the unknown. Each book you read that is outside your norm is like adding a new tool to your mental toolbox. It introduces you to new concepts, theories and perspectives that you might not have encountered otherwise. But reading is just the first step. The real magic happens when you start making connections between seemingly unrelated ideas. Let's take an example. Imagine you've just read a book about the evolution of species and another about the rise and fall of civilizations. On the surface, these topics seem unrelated, but dig a little deeper and you might see a pattern, a common thread. Perhaps the concept of survival of the fittest applies not just to species, but to civilizations too. There you have it, a new mental model taking shape. Creating these connections is like weaving a vibrant tapestry of thought. Each thread represents a different idea, and as they intertwine, they form a rich, complex pattern. A mental model that can help you understand and navigate the world in new ways. This process of constantly reading, exploring and connecting is not a one-off event. It's an ongoing journey. It's about being open to new ideas, being curious and having the willingness to step outside your comfort zone. It's about seeing the world not just from your perspective, but from different angles, through different lenses. By stretching our minds, we can create a toolbox of mental models ready to tackle any problem. Now, you may be wondering, what's the real benefit of having these mental models? Well, imagine finding yourself in a maze. If you only have one strategy, say, turning left at every junction, you might find yourself going around in circles. But if you have a variety of strategies, your chances of finding the exit dramatically increase. This is exactly how mental models work. They offer a variety of perspectives to approach a problem, increasing your chances of finding the best solution. Take the example of Richard Feynman, a celebrated physicist who was known for his unique mental model of differentiating under the integral sign. This approach allowed him to solve complex problems that even math PhD students found unsolvable. 
This is the power of a mental model. It can provide a unique lens to view and tackle problems. But the benefits of mental models go beyond just problem solving. They also significantly enhance our decision-making abilities. How so? Well, every decision we make is based on our understanding of the situation. The more mental models we have, the more comprehensive our understanding becomes. Let's say you're trying to decide whether to invest in a certain company's stocks. If your understanding is limited to just financial models, you might miss out on other important factors like the company's culture, its impact on the environment, or the current political climate. But if you also have mental models from sociology, ecology and politics, your decision will be much more informed and likely more successful. Moreover, mental models can help us make connections between seemingly unrelated ideas. This ability to cross-pollinate ideas from different fields is often the source of groundbreaking innovations. Think of Steve Jobs, who combined his understanding of calligraphy with technology to give us the beautifully designed Apple products we have today. Just like a craftsman with his toolbox, each mental model we add gives us more options to work with. So there you have it, the power of mental models. We've journeyed through the intricate world of mental models, from understanding their power to realizing that one tool, one perspective, is never enough. We've learned from the legendary physicist Richard Feynman, who attributed his exceptional problem-solving abilities to his unique mental model of differentiating under the integral sign. We've understood the importance of diversifying our thinking and not succumbing to Abraham Kaplan's law of the instrument, which warns us against the perils of using a single framework to solve all problems. We have also delved into the process of building new mental models, 